Hey y'all, Darth checking in with you once again. It's a little cold outside today, so we're finally cracking out the flannel. The week of Thanksgiving seems right. All right, let's talk about predictions for week four. And I would love to get some bold predictions from you, by the way. I don't just want, uh, well, here's what happens next in the book, so probably that stuff. Because, uh, clearly, we're straying away from where the books were, and we're trying to encapsulate more of the world of the Wheel of Time. So, here we go. Here's my predictions for week four, and I will say for anybody who's watching this, I will save spoilery things for the end, and I'll tell you when they're coming up if it relates to book spoilers. So, um, week four. I think Perrin and Egwene are going to leave the Tinkers, and I think, um, you know, that actually might be a bit of a book spoiler. I tell you what, I tell you what, let me say it this way, so that way it's not spoilery for people who haven't read them. I think that their plot line uh, from after they leave the Tinkers is pretty much going to happen as expected. And that will lead us into week five with them. Um, and for those of you who haven't read the books, the easy way that I can break that down is that um, right now the parties are split up. And I'm essentially saying that I think they're going to stay split up for at least another week before they get back together in week five. Since we're on the topic of this week, though, um, <laughs> I think that Moraine is going to get healed. That one's obvious um, by the Aes Sedai. And I think that Loghain, um, his camp, is going to get attacked by his followers... Uh, who are going to try and free him, and I believe it will be successful. I believe that Logan will successfully get freed, and that that will be a driving part of the plot, is trying to recapture him. Um, so that'll probably be, you know, leading into week five as well. But I think week four, Logan's uh, the camp with the Aes Sedai gets attacked by Logan's followers, and they're successful in freeing him though we do see a lot of cool Aes Sedai shit in the meantime. Uh, other predictions for week four. I think week four has no Trollocs. Not a single Trolloc. They pay good money for them, but I don't think they're going to use them. I do, however, think that we will get to see our first chance at Murdral action. I think that a Murdral will attack uh, Rand, Tom, and Matt this week. Um, and I think that they will all escape and continue on their journey. So those are those are kind of my main things. Here's a couple of other ones for you. Uh, I think this week we will get our first White Tower thread. I suspect that we will get to meet the Omerlin seat and see some White Tower politics this week. And I think that we'll also do a cutback to the two rivers and have some some of the drama that's going on there as they're working to rebuild the town and we get to see a little bit about those characters though the flashback might be a naive flashback uh, it might not actually be you know a, a new thread being opened up for the two rivers people that would be a little much um, so yeah yeah, we got our three main stories. We've got the the Land Moraine Nynaeve crowd going one way. We've got Rand, Matt, Tom going one way. We've got Perrin and Egwene going one way. Um, you know what? Let's... Hmm, I had one more, and I can't remember it right now. Um, oh, 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 oh. I think that there will be another dream sequence this week. There you go. There you go. So, oh, 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 that's not the one that I had, though. Uh, I think that we will not meet any other characters that are part of this story this week. Not like, 
I'm not saying we won't meet somebody small, but like part of the main party. There's there's a couple of people still missing from the books, and I don't think that we'll meet any of them um, this week. So from there, let's move on into uh, different territory people. If you haven't read the books, uh, don't watch this section. So, something I alluded to here, guys. I do not think that Tom is going to die this week, but I do think we're going to have a Murdral attack. I think as they're running away, the Murdral that that uh, dark friend lady summoned will be chasing after them, and they'll be stopping in towns, and we'll get maybe a scene of a Murdral attacking, but it will get scared off, kind of like... Uh, Kind of like that scene in book one where the one shows up and talks to Rand for a second. And then Lan is running down the stairs and it just kind of runs away. I think that happens. Uh, I also think that the clay figure scene happens. Uh, the dream sequence, the clay figure one where Matt picks his up. That would be really cool. I don't think we're going to meet Loyal. I don't think we're going to meet Elias. Uh, I do suspect that the White Cloak plot with Perrin will continue, just if that wasn't clear what I was talking about earlier, and that uh, I think we're going to have this convergence, right? We're going to have Loghain and his group, uh, you know, Loghain escapes, the Aes Sedai go on to chase him, but Moraine says that they, she's got her own quest, so she doesn't go with them, and Loghain is then probably not out of the story, because it seems like they're going to Tarball in this season. I bet that Loghain shows back up, and he's already been captured and gentled, and he's just at Tarball when we arrive there in the story, in, like, you know, episode 7 or 8, whatever it is. Um, so, yeah, that'll then lead Moraine on to go try and pick up Perrin, and they can do the whole save him from the White Cloak scene. That's a great scene. Um, and, and Egwene, of course, you know, uh, and then Tom, Matt, and, uh, and Rand are just kind of on their own for a little bit, and that's a good thing, that's a good thing, I like the, the way that the cast is getting split apart already, so that is it for today, I will see y'all tomorrow.